All right, Explorers, it's for day two. We are well rested because we went to bed like at 9, 9.30. But we are going out today. Hopefully it's be more successful day and we're not completely drained, but we're starting off today with a photo shoot, have some breakfast, um, go to the Eiffel Tower. What else are we doing? Go to the catacombs today and go to the chocolate museum to make up for our chocolate fiasco yesterday. So stay with us and you'll get to see all of these activities and learn a little bit more. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, so we are at the meeting point for our photo shoot. There's Nugget. <laughs> and I think it starts in a few minutes, so we were able to get here early, not have to rush and be stressed out. So let's wait. I don't even remember the guy's name for the photo shoot, so I need to go message him. So let's get started. <laughs> As I had to focus on the photo shoot, here are a few of my favorite photos from the shoot. Alex took over 500 photos that we got to keep and he edited 30. So we just finished our photo shoot and then Carly fell down right after the photo shoot. So that's good. We don't have scraped knees in the photo, but Alex was really great. I'll definitely leave his link down below in the description box. But now we're going to go hopefully to let Claire to get some breakfast before going to the Eiffel Tower. But before we head there, get a quick glimpse at the Eiffel Tower one more time. <laughs> so I think we're going to the, <laughs> when we go to the Eiffel Tower, we're going to that second level there. This is where we're going to look there. Are you okay, hot chocolate? <laughs> and crepes. Oh, they have a chocolate croissant. Now let's see. Wi-Fi. There should be some here. They have mozzarella oh, sticks here mm, too. What's the spice called? Leclerc. Um, if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, I'm gonna make some nice. Got your crepes. <laughs> I'm gonna take this. The breakfast was really good here. This cafe is located in the seventh arrondissement, the same as the Eiffel Tower, within walking distance. They like don't like chocolate anything. Chocolate bars, no. Chocolate anything. Chocolate cupcakes, no. Chocolate cake, no. Chocolate candy, no. We have now arrived at the Eiffel Tower. We had a timed entry at 10.30 a.m. You have to go through security and ticket control in order to get into the tower. But if you just want to go in and see the garden and see the tower from outside, you do not have a ticket, but you still have to go through security. Once we got in and wanted to go up into the tower, we looked for a sign that said 10.30 a.m. to line up there for the elevator. Once we got into the elevator, which it does have a note to make sure you watch out for pickpockets, we went up to the second floor. As you can see, we're doing now. Tickets cost about 17 euros for adults and about nine euros for youth. Photos? Is it out? We have made it. I oh, look over there. there. You see all the way over there. That big. Paris for miles. Paris for miles. Are you in here? Yeah, look through that. Since we are done taking in the sights from 
inside the Eiffel Tower, we decided to check out their souvenir shops. They have a few souvenir shops inside the tower. Now that we're done shopping, we are headed back down to ground level by taking the elevator back down. So just finished up at the Eiffel Tower. We went up, probably took like 30 minutes to go up. The line wasn't really long for us, thankfully. But Carly, did you enjoy? Yes. I, I really like the souvenirs too. Of course you <laughs> like the souvenirs. You always like to buy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like buying stuff, but I don't like losing the money. <laughs> and we just finished walking around the, uh, what is this, the garden, right? Yeah, the garden. And then, so yeah, so now we're gonna look at more souvenirs, have some lunch, and then who knows, some time to just wander before we go to the catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we just see this little festival across the street from the Eiffel Tower. So we decided to come over and they have food. And we're like, oh, let's get hot dogs and fries from the stand. The hot dogs are massive. This look. Yes, there is a hot dog under there. We could have had one. Now we have hopped in the Uber and headed over to the 14th arrondissement to visit the catacombs. This child has been going to the catacombs. As a lot of things these days, we had a timed entry of 2 p.m. And we had to go through security, but we scanned our own tickets from our phone when walking into the catacombs. Then you went down a ton of stairs. I mean, a ton of them, like forever. <laughs> Going down in the catacombs. As it says here, as a visitor, when you go between street level and the bottom of the catacombs, you are taken back almost 45 million years in time. How cool is that? So now let's continue to explore the catacombs and I will give you a little bit of history along the way. By the way, it costs 29 euros for adults and only five euros for children 18 years and younger to visit the catacombs. Make sure you visit their website because there has been reports of fraudulent tickets being sold online. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> I feel like it's going to be like a hundred hours. But this, it, this is dark, folks. You got your portable. <laughs> Something jumping out was not on the. What is all this um, description? Too? It's probably like, cause it probably gets wet in here from when it rains and that's probably like limestone or something. The earth is doing its thing. I'm not sure though. I'm not a scientist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is disgusting. Where's the catacombs at? Yeah, this is toothing stone, which is used for ventilation. The catacombs began in the late 18th century when Paris encountered a major public health problem due to the city cemeteries. So public officials decided to move the cemeteries to the tomb la soie quarries under the plain of Montreux, beginning from 1785 to 1787. So this, this back here is disgusting. 
On April 7th, my birthday, 1786, the site was consecrated as the Paris Municipal Ossuary. And from that time forward, it took on the mythical name of the catacombs. We are getting ready to leave the catacombs now, and they will do another security check to make sure you do not take any of these actual bones out of the catacombs. All right, now we go back up the stairs. Yeah, it's up, you gotta use more energy. And of course, there's a gift shop up on exit that we will visit before we head to our next spot for the day. Since we missed the chocolate making class in the previous day, I decided to go to the Choco Story Paris Chocolate Museum. It is located in the 10th arrondissement and you learn a lot about the different chocolates made and where it comes from all over the world. You actually also get to try the chocolate and they have hand sanitizer at every chocolate trying station. We had a timed entry of 4.30 p.m. and it costs 12 euros for an adult and 10 euros for children ages 12 to 17. And I'll leave the link down below to the chocolate museum so you can check it out. Yeah, they smell it that time. What's cinnamon? Oh, it does smell like Yeah, Okay. <laughs> per the staff that work there, when you go in to tour this museum, you go on the main level, upstairs, then the basement. This, this, and this. I can't sanitize this behind me. These right here are different chocolate molds to shape and make the chocolate. Okay, down to the third floor, final floor. A chocolate Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I don't know, your your skeleton is dancing. Now we will head into the demonstration room. This demonstration is pre-recorded and they also give you chocolate to follow along with the demonstration of learning how to fix a certain type of chocolate. But they do have chocolate classes as well you can register for. Which is this one? After a long Google search and walking from our hotel about 20, 25 minutes, we found a restaurant to eat at for dinner, Le Boucheron. Le Boucheron is located in the fourth arrondissement and they have a lot of different pasta items. Like you can see here, this delicious lasagna. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need it. Am I supposed to do that here? Huh? Am I supposed to do that? You're supposed to do that at any restaurant. I know. <laughs> 
All right, explorers, I hope you enjoyed today's video and all the things we did, we did too much. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's down below and it's free for you to do so. Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave it down below in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.